What do a legendary local business, a former professional bronc rider, and thousands of regional residents have in common? They're all tied together by shoes. Tonight, a look at the man who's been running an iconic local shop through the latest lap of its seven-decade race through time. If ever a shoe shop had a heart and soul, this is likely the place. A business where worn-out footwear, dragging its heels, can stagger in but swagger out. If it can be riveted, stitched, glued, nailed, um, we can fix it. A look in this workshop is like a look back in time. Some of these machines, you know, 30s, 40s, um, they don't make them new. You can buy parts for them, but they're all machine parts, and they are expensive to get fixed. And sometimes those antiquish machines can get a bit persnickety. You just got to pat it and just talk to it real nice every time you use it, you know. Clean her up, put a little oil on her, and uh, if she doesn't want to play nice that day, you just do something else. And as shoes become increasingly cheaper and disposable, Shoe shops across America are shutting off their machines and closing their doors. Here in ranch country, this shop gets a steady supply of work. Our number one thing would be cowboy boots. You know, we resole probably around a thousand pair a year. And Chad is no stranger to cowboy boots. Grew up basically rodeoing from, from a little kid all the way up through college, professional. And then I rode Saddle Bronx um, in college and then professionally. During college, Chad worked in this very shop. And after graduation, he pursued other options. Bob Shoe Repair was a family business for the Wessel family for more than six decades. It was started by Bob Sr. when he got out of World War II. And the sign says since 1946. And he ran it and he passed away when he was 51 years old. His son, Bob Wessel Jr. and his wife, took over running it, Chad says, for 35 years until Bob Jr. passed away. Chad was working elsewhere. I worked with him. He was a friend. I know how hard he worked. But the shop would need a new owner. With admiration and respect for the legacy the Wessels had built, Chad and his wife bought the business, knowing they had big shoes to fill. There was expectations that I didn't know if I can do. But here we are, still going. Not only still going, but going strong. I hope to make 100 years. That's my goal, 100 years. That's about 30 more years. I love the work. I love what I can do to something that's broken and make it look like new. It's a small business, just Chad, his wife, and one employee, and a whole lot of shoes on their shelves, earning a living, one repair at a time. But as shoe repair shops become a bit like an endangered species, folks with footwear that needs fixing come from many miles away. North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, and Nebraska. It's about 11 o'clock at night. Shop closed at 5.30, but as you can see, and here, Chad is still working. If I don't do it, no one will. Turns out he went home for family time and dinner and then back to the shop by 8 o'clock. There's been times where I had to come down here and, and spend the night. Just like riding saddle Bronx is rough, so is running your own shoe shop. But the payoff is worth it. I hear it so many times that they appreciate us. And you can't get that anywhere else. It's just appreciate us just being open, what we can do. Now we can't fix everything all the time, but we try. Yep, if ever a shoe shop had a heart and soul, this is likely the place. Because since the 1940s, worn-out footwear has staggered in the door, but walked out the door with a swagger. If you've met someone cool along the way, please call or email us to let us know. Chad says he's always happy to give tours of the old place. I guess folks stop in there and ask for tours. He says he's always happy to do that. And uh, he's also started making some cowboy boots. He's only made 10 pairs, he says, for family and friends. Not quite ready to put them out on the market or anything, but he says he'd uh, be interested in pursuing that a little bit further.